In the last video, I showed you the beginning of my new Pulse EDM. A long time has passed since then, but I had a few problems with the electronics and then I hadn't any time for my workshop projects. The next construction step was the front panel with the controls. Everything looked fine and I started testing the circuit. The first testing stages were good, but then I noticed that the control voltage was too high for the servo driver. Problems in such a complex circuit are quite annoying for an electronic newbie like me, but in the end I learned much about electronics and how a comparator and a servo driver really work. Finally, I fixed the problem just with a diode and the very fast, friendly and competent help of Ben Fleming himself. Thanks a lot for this, Ben. During further testing, I noticed a problem with the retraction of the electrode when a short circuit occurs. It depends on the settings of on and off times and not at all combinations, it works properly. Ben Fleming describes this in the book a bit, but I was too impatient to deal extensively with the problem and wanted to see the machine work. The Pulse EDM burned with much power and I was happy. I realized that the indicator LED was red nearly the whole time and the electrode wasn't retracting, but I was too excited about the working machine. So it first crackled and then it exploded. Hopefully it's just the power resistor. Now I have to replace the exploded power resistor and must find the retraction problem with the on and off times. But first I have to renovate two bathrooms in our house all by myself. So it can take a few weeks till I publish the next video. As always I am very happy for comments and suggestions, especially if you can help me with the retraction problem at on and off times. Greetings and best wishes for me, see you next time.